Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I hope everybody's doing well today. Staying safe. So welcome to my channel. You know, here we talk about everything and anything that is yarn and crochet related. That's all we talk about, yeah. Sometimes knit, I don't knit, but you know, still like to talk about it. But anything crochet related, yarn, we like to talk about yarn. And I have a crap ton of free crochet tutorials. Um, they're all free for you to enjoy. Oh yeah, everything, every video on my channel is free, okay? Um, and yeah, you just hit that subscribe button and I have anything that you could ever want to make. And I do put uh, tutorials on still. And we also like to, like I said, to talk about yarn and other things. Um, today is, at the making of the video, it is in the middle of the night, because I am a night owl, but it's 4-8-2024. All the eclipses happen, and today, I'm writing a path of that. Well, pretty close. Close enough that I don't want to drive anywhere to go. I mean, we're at, like, I think where I live, 97, not, sorry, 99.74% uh, total. I know that's not 100%, and it sounds close but to 100%, but it's still not as good as it could get. But I'm good where I'm at, you know, because we live off the beaten, beaten trail, you know. But anyways, enough of that eclipse. Yeah, I just noticed the date, and I'm like, we don't talk about anything but crochet. And then I go off on a tangent about the eclipse happening in about 12 hours. I'm super stoked, man. I missed Haley's comment when I was like six or something. I don't know when it came through. But, uh, I didn't, I mean, I was looking for it, but I wasn't like, you know, old enough to understand that I would, wouldn't get to see it again, probably in my lifetime. And if I do, I'm going to be a lot older. My oldest brother, who is 10 years older than me, kept telling me, I remember we were all out there looking, and he kept going, look, come on, Crystal, look, look, you're going to miss it. This could be your only chance. I come on, look, look, begging me to look. And I look up, you know, and it's, I don't understand. But, I understand now that I missed Haley's comment, and I probably will never get the chance to see it again. And if I do, I will be quite older. Anyways, so um, today I wanted to show you, I got some uh, stuff in my P.O. box, and what comes to my P.O. box is supposed to be Afghans for the Animal Shelter. Uh, here we talk about everything yarn and crochet related. Uh, I do do, we do a uh, animal rescue uh, option. I'm not going to go over it too much. I'll leave the link below. Once a year. Well, last year we raised over $41,000. It goes to a local uh, non for profit like a uh, small animal shelter to, that gets no state funding. And they rely solely on donations. What it is, people donate Afghans and whatnot. Um, and then we do not give the Afghans to the... We don't give the Afghans to the animal shelter. We auction them off on my channel, which will be during the summer. And they can bring in some pretty pennies. Yes, because you guys are all excellent crocheters and people are very generous when it comes to cherry, charity, because it all goes to animal rescue and animal welfare on my channel. That is what Barry Day advocates for is animal rescue and animal welfare. So, um, I think there were some of those. That's, I don't like to receive happy mail, therefore, um... I only have my P.O. box, I had, it was closed. I only opened it up to receive donations of Afghans, but sometimes people send me things, and I always prefer it if you do not do that, please. Um, I just, I am very uncomfortable receiving Happy Mail. I'm not good at receiving it, and I think that would be the best thing that you could ever send me, or do not send me, do for me, if you wanted to, I don't know. Some people, they say that they want to give me something because... I've helped them in some way or another, you know, that's always nice and it's very, very thoughtful and I appreciate that. Donate to your local animal shelter, okay? That's what I would want, more than anything. Give them, crochet them a, a toy. Um, whatever money you were going to spend on shipping, give it to them. Buy them a bad dog food, cat food. That would mean the most to me. Alright, enough. Oh, I'm also going to show you what I'm working on here. In a little yarn. What shall we start with first? Okay, so this is what I've been working on, and it's been taking, taking a while. It is my daughter's, Evelyn. I'm making her a dress. And um, I'm making it for my friend Gary, not making it for him or anything. On his channel, he's having like a make-along. Please check him out. His channel is Urban Yarns. You are going to love him. He is 
one of my, I always say it, he is one of my favorite YouTubers and I never miss one of Gary's videos. Every time a notification stops, pops up on my phone, I will drop whatever I'm doing to go watch it. Unless I'm in the middle of recording a tutorial or a video, I can't. But as soon as I'm done recording, I'm over there watching his video. Anyways, he's having like a, a make a long crochet along type thing. I've never participated in one of those before, ever, ever, all right? I'm having one too. Please, if you don't know about it, you should check it out. It just started. The first video dropped um, a few days ago and a lot of people didn't know about it. Um, it's a really beautiful shawl along and all, like almost all the rows are different stitches. It's one of those fancy shawls. But I'll leave a link to the initial video. Um, it talks about the supplies and it shows you the shawl already finished. I don't have it here. I would show you. It's actually in a tote because I'm auctioning it off at my animal rescue auction. And then um, I'll put a, a link to the first video. It's the first 12 rows of it, okay? So you, you got time to catch up. And a video uh, gets released for my crochet along every five days. So the next one won't be till the 10th. And then the 15th all the way to the 30th. And then it'll be done. Yep, 5, 10, 15, 6 of them. And then, actually, on the 30th, I'll release two because the last one is just how to block it. It's not a very long video. But anyways, if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link to that below. i got a lot of people participating on my Facebook page. It's very cool to see everybody's uh, colors they chose and the yarns they chose. I'm really enjoying seeing everybody's stuff. All right, so anyways, back to Gary. He's having, like, uh, if you go there into his channel, check him out. Subscribe, please. You'll love him. I adore Gary. He's such an artist at everything that he does. Um, he, he could knit. He could crochet. Uh, I mean, he is a jack of all trades. He does pottery. I actually have a couple pieces of his pottery. Um, lots of his crochet and knitting. Because uh, he's so kind and generous. He's my bestie. One of my bestie YouTube friends in the whole wide world. Um, he came and visited me last week. At, uh, it was the 25th. 24th and 25th all the way from Canada um so it was, it, we had a good time and um yes you'll love his channel anyways and he loves to talk he loves yarn like me and to crochet and knit and he is much better at it than me anyways so <laughs> back to uh, if you're new I get sidetracked a lot that's why my videos end up being so long I apologize uh <laughs> Anyways, uh, so you go to his channel and um, he's having, I'll put a link to it below. I'll put a link to the video that talks about it. It's something like, he call, it's called like a mood board or something. He'll explain it better. But anyways, you just pick something, pick a song, and then you crochet something that is inspired by that song. Um, and then you make like a board of it. On your computer with like the color colors and pictures and stuff that is inspiring from that song as well he'll explain it better than me but anyway so you don't have to like uh the reason why i don't ever participate in crochet alongs well one um i don't really, i don't i don't watch other people's tutorials because i made my own um and usually when you do a crochet along you have to make whatever the other person's making right and I really have never been in that. Well, Gary's is like you can make whatever you want. You know, you can use someone else's design or you can make up your own. Well, I'm like, I want to participate in Gary's this year. He had uh, something similar last year and I, I wanted to participate in that. And I didn't get around to it this year. By gosh, I'm going to finish it. I had to have it done by April 30th. I should have it done in a few days, hopefully. <laughs> and, uh, you don't have to send it to him or anything. You just send him pictures of it all. And then he makes a video of a slideshow of everybody's. It's going to be cool. So the song that I chose was, of course, a Freddie Mercury song. If you do not know, Freddie Mercury is my idol. Um, in my old videos, you might, before I lived here, you might have seen the back of my wall was covered in Freddie Mercury paraphernalia. All over the place. He, yes, he is... Uh, I find him to be the greatest singer that ever lived. Yes, that still is to this day, and that ever will be, I'm certain. Um, so, and the song I chose was my favorite song of his. It's called Love of My Life. So, my uh, inspiration around that is my daughter. Uh, of course, I have five children, and they all are all the loves of my life, of course. 
but my youngest daughter, who is eight, her name is Evelyn, um, is the only one who appreciates what mama makes for her. So that's what I'm doing. So I got, I've started this. She threw, I started it twice, actually. She's super stoked about it. So this is what I've been working on. Okay. She looks adorbs in it, but it's not done yet. So, um, as you can see, I have three more rows of ruffles to put on. That's what this uh, chain net is. That's what I attach the ruffles to. So the last row, not every, every one, every other row gets a ruffle. So the last row should come about down in here. But, uh, so what it is, it's a fade pink. Um, and I tried it on her last night. Oh my gosh, is she adorbs in it? Yes. But she's adorbs in anything, of course, because she's my daughter. <laughs> I'm going to, you know, I'm going you know, to think that. So um, I did this simple neckline. Um, I used a pink fade. I'll show you the yarn. Uh, five colors. Five colors of a pink fade. It's actually, it's like very Victorian pink, which, you know, I love pink. Uh, or she loves pink and I love Victorian pink. So, you know, this is, it's beautiful. Um, so the color is pretty simple. I used, uh, I did a round neck. It does, this does not stick up at all. It's, um, I did, a, made the neck larger so I could go around it five times and use one of each color, uh, faded up like that. And I did the same with the sleeves. And um, as you can see, the ruffles, this is the lightest color. And then the, there's two rows of each color of the ruffles. I got three rows of, and then half of the fourth color. So I'll have to do another the fourth, another row of the fourth color and two more colors. The last color is this darkest color right here. So this is the color I'm on now, the second darkest. It's like forever. And then once I'm done with that, she wants, she's very particular. She wants what she wants. She doesn't leave you alone until you get it done. She's on me all day and all night. Got that dress done? I think I mentioned that before. Hey mom, why aren't you working on my dress? I want that dress done. <laughs> she decided that she wanted these. I made these little flowers here, right? Um, and I'm gonna, she, she loves a bling just like her mother. Her mother loves the bling. Um, we got, I got these little buttons. They came from Walmart, um, online at Walmart. I'm going to sew them in the middle and I'm going to make, um, I think, I think it was 20 flowers total, um, a five of each color and she wants them to go around the waist like a belt. So it'll be, you know, they'll be sewed on here, but they'll go in some type of order as far as the color, you know. I might start with dark, the darkest, and do the second darkest on each side of that, and then the, the uh, middle color on each. I'm not sure how I'll do it, but they'll go all the way around, right next to each other, and they'll all have a diamond in the middle. Ugh. I'm trying to hold that diamond on because it's not sewed on, but you can't even see. You can't even see it. Just picture it. Picture it. <laughs> picture, picture the flowers. Oh, they'll, they'll be straight, I promise, and I'll have them in some type of order for this. But yes, so each, so this is what happened. So I started it. I don't mean to talk so much. I'm sorry, you can turn me off. I am going to show you a little bit of yarn. Oh, it's male here, though. Uh, blankets, I believe. It's not very much, but some of it, it may not be blankets. <laughs> um, I started making it regular style, right? I don't like regular on myself at all. I don't make myself regular things. But I thought, you know, I'm going to make this regular style on her. So I got halfway finished, but I didn't have it quite as roughly, right? Um, I had a single row of ruffles. And then um, I tried it on her. I'm like, ugh. I don't know if I like the looks of that regular. It's not that she didn't look adorable. And I've made a regular style dresses before. I have tutorials for them on my YouTube channel. You can find them. Um, how to do them mini dresses for her. I got mini baby dresses and toddler dresses on my channel. Um, but uh, I'm like, nah, I'm changing that. I'm changing it to round neck. So I took it all out and I changed it to round neck like I did. And for some reason, for some reason, I decided I would do double ruffles. And not only that, 
I doubled up how many ruffles I put on this netting. I doubled up the size of the netting. So it took me like two hours to do one, one row of ruffles. Yeah, it's crazy. So anyways, uh, yeah, it's going to go down. Like I said, here's the uh, darkest color. It's not uh, brown or anything. It's like a very Victorian mob. So it's going to be down at the bottom. And as you can see, it faded all the way up. I don't know what else she's going to have me add. It's hard telling. But yeah, you won't see this netting. It'll all be ruffles um, in the end whenever she's done. Because, that, you know, that's what they're attached to. And three more rows. Six more hours. And what I, I think I got 16 more flowers <laughs> to make. But that's okay. I'll get it done. Now, the yarn that I use for that particular dress, in case you're interested, is gorgeous. I'm using a size H hook and um, a four weight yarn. It is from Expression of Fiber Arts. Yes, yes, it is hand dyed yarn that I'm using for my daughter. That's what I use for her most of the time. Or a very nice Pima or Mako cotton. I make her lots of dresses. I just don't do tutorials for them anymore. There, there won't be a tutorial for that at all. I did not record any of that. Um, I mentioned that I wasn't doing a tutorial. I was I was doing it for Gary's make along for fun, you know. It was it's a lot of fun. Um, but this is the name of it. Uh, Mang Mango Steen Hughes. So what it was, it was a pink fade, right? You seen it on the dress. It had the lightest, the second lightest, the middle, and here's the second darkest and the darkest, which I haven't used yet but I I will use these because that is a lot of ruffles on that day that is a lot of ruffles on that dress so um yes it is a uh, 50% super super wash merino and 50% lias so the shine on this stuff is so pretty look at that I love this stuff it's so super soft I love Shandy from Expression Fiber Arts I've grown quite attached to her yarn and her bases this is a really nice base of hers they, she has this, I think, in maybe either a two weight or a sport weight as well. I can't remember. But this is very, very nice. I like it. And here's the four, her four, this is the four weight on it. It just glides right on your hook nicely. So, yes. And I know what you're doing making your daughter wool for a dress, using wool for, for a summer dress. You're not going to believe it when I tell you. And that's okay if you don't believe me. But it is the truth. Wool it's cooler than cotton and bamboo in the summer. And it's also, well, a merino uh, wool is, uh, or a nice alpaca or something. Um, it's cooler in the summer than any cotton or bamboo that you could get. And also, it's warmer in the winter. No one's going to believe that, but it is true. Look that up. Actually, wool gets a bad rap. I could tell you so many good things about wool. That's why it's my favorite fiber. That, and you wouldn't, probably wouldn't even believe me. It's superior in the kitchen. It's superior during the summer. And you know what? I know a lot of people say they're allergic to it. Um, some people are. Some people are. Or you could just be using, you could have just tried a very poor quality wool. You get a nice high quality one you may not be allergic or actually you could just have a wool sensitivity to a low quality wool get a nice high quality one try that see if that works and you'll see the benefits if you could use wool you'll see that it just is a superior fiber almost to all others i'm not kidding no i didn't not just hand dyed it doesn't have to be hand dyed but um you get a nice high quality wool i'm serious it's better it performs better in the kitchen it keeps you cooler and drier in the summer than any other fiber. It's just enough about that. Because no one's going to believe me anyways. But I do tell the truth. It is what it is. Wool is a superior, a nice high quality wool. Why I'm talking about merino, alpaca, stuff like that. It is a superior fiber. as what I'm talking when I speak of keeping you cooler in the winter and or cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter and extremely ex extremely superior 
over cotton in the kitchen. Although cotton is good in the kitchen. I use cotton in the kitchen, but I do use wool more. I have tutorials using wool. I'm uh, making stuff out of wool for the kitchen. Enough, because like I said, no one's going to believe me that wool's worth anything. That's okay. That's okay. It is what it is. I like it. I know how good it is. I know that it gets a bad rap. I know that you're really a superior fiber. Even if no one else does. Some people know that already. But many don't. And many won't believe me. And it's okay. This is the same uh, yarn that I just got. Uh, I just showed you. Um, so what I was going to ask you in the comments. I had initially thought about making her a uh, cardigan to go over it. Um, but now that it's taken me two hours per ruffle row and I already and I restarted it once already I'm thinking that maybe I will not make the cardigan um I could make a little shrug but do you think that white is a little bright for this maybe I should have went with an off-white like more Victorian creamy white that's a really bright white so you can let me know in the comments remember this isn't going to be here it's all going to be ruffles but um you let me know in the comments. Should I just abandon the whole... It probably If I do it, it won't probably won't be a cardigan. It'll probably just like a little shrug. Um, maybe three-quarter sleeve shrug or something if I do it. And maybe I'll add a few flowers, pink fl other flowers to match it. Maybe. Should I do, abandon that whole idea and just stick with the dress? I'm good with that. Because I got to get I gotta get this made and then I got to get back to make it tutorials for my channel. That's why I haven't made, made a new tutorial yet. I've been working on this thing for so long. Or I could order a creamy, a couple hank, a couple hanks of creamy white. You know, maybe that would match this better and do a little bolero or whatever it is. A little bitty shrug. Let me know in the comments. I can abandon it. Or I could get a couple hanks of, yeah, like, off white or cream or something. I just that bright. I just don't think that bright white's cutting it. Do you? At first I thought it would, but then I started working with it. And I'm like, no, that's not cutting it. It's just too Victorian, and Victorian means like cream or, or you know, something like that. So, you can always tell me your thoughts. I don't care either way. I can abandon the whole shrug, uh, idea. It wouldn't hurt my feelings at all. Or I could do it too. Um, either way, uh, it wouldn't take me that long to make up a, a simple shrug. Okay, so that's what I've been working on. And then I have uh, getting ready to do a, oh gosh, a asymmetrical, asymmetrical shawl with the yes. Um, this is from the uh, Rena's Thread and Crafts. Uh, it's a, a gradient, one of those gradients. It's like a two-way gradient. The color, this one's called stained glass. So you can look for that coming up probably a couple weeks. Um, I have some other things as well, but yes, this will be an asymmetrical. I know a lot of people want a crescent shawl, and I'm going to get on that as well. And also, um, I have some yarn, not today, I'm not going to show you that. I'll show it to you later, though, for a couple summer tops. I'm probably not going to do lots of tops this year, but I will show you the yarn that I got that I'm going to be doing tutorials on. And <laughs> I said I was going to try, maybe, you know, I do a lot of easy tutorials you know um and i do that because that's what people like when i try to do a hard tutorial usually nobody watches them <sighs> but um i make things off and that i don't do tutorials on like my my crochet along is like one of those shawls with tons of different stitches i like to do those off camera and i don't make tutorials for them for one because it would the one i made for my crochet along is like a seven hour tutorial only it's split up in different videos so i need it um, but, um, I think I need, I need to do things like that. It keeps my, my mind as far as, uh, being a stitches, knowing the multiple of the stitches, keep it sharp. I can come up with them on the, you know, really, easy. um, I got to keep crocheting things with different stitches. Plus it's fun. So I thought about it, even though I hate blankets, I really want to do one of those mandala, mandala style blankets. That everybody's kind of been sending in for the animal shelter auction only my own style you know with tons of different stitches um, 
Of course, that would take me a little while to do, but I did buy the yarn for it. I'm so, but don't, but don't, it's going to be a long time before that's done because I'll have to do that on my spare time. And that in itself would be a lot of recording because I like to make as many stitches as possible. Don't count on that anytime soon, but I did get the yarn for it. Anyways, and then I have some stitch tutorials and whatnot coming out. Seems like a lot, of, there's lots of stitch tutorials already, but hey, what's one more, right? If there's anything else you'd like to see tutorial wise in the comments, not super specific, something that you think everybody might enjoy. Oh, and I have a couple summer bags that I have planned on doing. Um, something that you think everybody might enjoy. You can always let me know in the comments for the summer. Okay, um, before I open the packages, I just want to show you this yarn I got here. So, I've been using, for some reason, a lot of DK yarn weight, DK weight yarn lately, which is a lightweight number three. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I really can't use um, anything below a four because I have arthritis in my hands and don't. I, I can't use different, I've tried all the different hooks. None of them work, none of them work. I can't use any other hook but the hooks that I use, which are straight aluminum, hero or gym hooks, and every once in a while, boy. Okay, it, it, it has to be that way. I can't use, have any grippers, I can't have any funky looking hooks. It just has to be this, so that's what I use. So, um, but yeah, so I, but lately I noticed that uh, I've been using a lot of three-way yarn and it hasn't been bothering me. Um, I do have a tutorial for this hat. It's called Parallel Universe. Yeah, it's actually made with the three-way yarn as well. <laughs> um, so, I yeah, I've been noticing I've been using three-way lately and I'm like, man, this isn't really hurting my hands. And I've been making them on the stress and I'm like, man, this four weights thick compared to three weights. So, anyways, the reason why I'm saying that is, um, I went back to Shandy's, which is the Expression her expression Fibers Arts, and I got this uh, curated pack. I love, I haven't even opened it yet. I don't even know what it feels like. I'm super stoked to see what it feels like. I got this curated pack. She sells single balls of yarn, but I love her curated packs because I'm not good with color, and she kind of puts the colors together there in a pack. Now her yarn is hand dyed and her bases are wonderful. I've never had this base so and I'm super excited to touch it. The reason why I've never had it is because it is a lace weight. I don't even know if I'm even going to be able to use that. I think that I just got so excited about being able to use a three weight and it not hurting my hands. I mean, I've been using it a lot, you know. I crochet and don't make tutorials, you know what I mean? I can't, I don't make tutorials on everything I crochet. That would, that would get very, um, I wouldn't want to do that. But, um, I crochet, you know, just, you know, um, you know, just make things. And I thought, well, I wonder if I can use something smaller. So, of course, I go for one of the smallest yarns they make. The reason why is because I've been wanting to touch this base. And I think it's only available in this, in this weight. <laughs> I probably won't use it. I'll probably end up giving it away, but hey, I still want to feel it. I'm going to open it up and feel it. So this is Yak Silk Lace. Lace. I remember back in the day I could use lace weight and thread. Oh, I miss that so much. It's 50% yak down and 50% silk. Ugh. That is nice. This There's one, two, three, four, five hanks totaling 3,100 and, oh, I'm sorry, 3,105 meters or 3,400 yards. Wow. Recommended uh, needle is, a like, knitting needle is size one to three and hook would be size B to D. Ooh, a D. I definitely would have to use the biggest hook. I, I really don't like to drop below a five, but I've been using a four recently, a G. Mm, a D is quite a far away from a, from a G, isn't it? Or, yeah, it is. Anyways, let's open it up. Oh, the color on this one is called Harmony Hues. I just wanted to touch this base and feel it and see how thin it is. I think I just, 
thought, oh, I can use a three-way, I can use a laceway. I know I can. I know I can. I'll end up, it'll end up in a giveaway more than likely, but at least I'll probably, oh, that's, that's nice. Mmm. Well, I know. Why do I smell yarn? I smell it because it smells good and I love wool. Gosh dang it. Keeps you cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. But this is a, this is a yak, a yak silk blend. So it's nice. Oh, it feels nice. Gosh dang, that feels nice. Shandy does such a good job at dyeing. I love her bases. This is one I've never, ever felt. Let's look at that lace weight. I'm scared. I'm scared. Um, so one way, you think that's a one way? One way it is uh, fingering, isn't it? And lace weight's a zero. Is that right? You could correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I haven't used these weights in a very long time. Sometimes I use two. That's about the extent of it. Um, but to me, that looks like a one, which I do believe is fingering. Could be wrong, like I said. But I wonder if that's going to be doable for me. You know what? I'll give it a go with a G hook. Or a D, I'm sorry, a D hook. Gosh, that's small. And see what I can come up with. And if it doesn't hurt my hands, I will be excited. I wonder what the sudden change was. I don't know. I, I don't know, really. Um, like... Because I have arthritis in these fingers, right? And um, they really haven't been bothering me lately. I'll tell you, though, I don't know of anything that could cause it to be different other than I did go through something um, several months ago. And I had to do like a 360 completely around on my diet. Um, so my diet is extremely different than what it used to be. And I lost... Well, I lost some of the weight before, and then I lost even more because of the 360 I did on my diet. Like, I only drink, I don't drink caffeine, coffee. I don't, I pretty much only drink water. I can not drink carbonated beverages. Um, and I eat a lot of fish. Like, not, I, I don't like fish. Salmon is, you know, I just did like, I can't eat really red meat or anything like that anymore. So, or go out to eat, like, fast food it's just hardcore i get sick from it so that complete 360 i don't know maybe that helped my arthritis because it, it really doesn't bother me anymore that much is that possible can a diet change really make you feel better i know it may i mean i don't know if it's changed my energy level because i'm always pretty pretty high energy person because of the way that i am um, in general, um, but the diet change, I had to do that, you know, something I, I had to do. Uh -huh. It was a big one, too, and I just did it just boom, like that, you know, because um, I had to. And I don't know. Maybe, just maybe, you know, that could have. That's probably just silly thinking, but something is making my arthritis feel better, and I can use a three-way... And I just got so excited. I'm like, I'm trying to lace weight. I'm just going to go down to the lowest I can go. I probably won't be able to use it. But, hey, it's worth a try. Now, I'm going to open this mail I got in my P.O. box. It's probably blankets for my options. I know I know that this cannot possibly be blankets. But, like I said, um, please don't send me. I don't do YouTube for happy mail. I don't want happy mail. I don't you do YouTube for praise. I do YouTube to teach. Teach. That's what I want. So and talk about yarn. <laughs> I like to talk about yarn. So, you know, I don't I don't need gifts. I don't need any anything like that. So I just want you guys to watch my videos and talk yarn with me. Oh yeah, we got a blanket here for the animal shelter. Oh, it looks pretty. Basic stitch is what it's made with. Now, if it doesn't say I can say the name, I do not say it. Um, I can't. Sometimes they have a card with them and sometimes they don't. 
and this one it doesn't have anything but that's okay um this is a very beautiful afghan it might be a uh mary maxson kit it may not be it looks pretty familiar as far as that's crocheted i don't know if it's a mary maxson kit or not there's no, nothing no letter or anything in it so i don't know um where it came from other than it's made with lion brand basic stitch anti-peel acrylic it's very very pretty look at that one but like i said this is crow it's got fringe i like the fringe that is gorgeous here's the back nice and clean a ah, beautiful job on that one thank you so much for your donation that's going to bring in several hundred dollars for the animal shelter look pretty dang good on the back of my chair i got something for these little off-white these off-white blankets that um i just love them they just go so good on my chair that's beautiful thank you i i can see the name that sent it but since there is no note in the box i'm not going to see the name i don't i don't even know where the pattern came from or anything um if this is if you're watching this and you sent this please and you want you don't want me to you don't want your name said or anything that's fine but if you don't care maybe you could let us know in the comments like is that your own design or or this was that a pattern from somewhere well, let us know but thank you so much for your time and i took you to make that you bought the yarn you paid to ship it all for the love of animals oh thank you okay next one we have here okay oh no it's a blanket well i don't know for certain but i'm pretty sure it is it looks about the right size for a blanket It's a blanket card with this one. Yeah, it looks pretty. Okay. It smells good. I don't like fabric softener. <laughs> fabric softener. Hi, I'm Crystal. Here's my blanket for the animal rescue auction. You may use my name. Okay. Nikki from Maine. Nikki. This blanket is 52 by 62 made with Stylecraft Special DK Acrylic. It's designed by Lucy at Attic24 and is her Spring Frost blanket pattern. Alright. I, I, I know who that is. Or I see her stuff on um, Wool Warehouse, I think, isn't it? I don't know. Her kids? Okay, I don't know. I have laundered it so it's clean and fresh i hope it helps your fundraiser i love watching you you're so talented and kind thank you nikki nikki from maine 74 years old thank you nikki i appreciate that let's check this out want to? let's check out this beautiful 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 blanket here and it's in a wool warehouse bag i knew that's that uh sounded familiar that uh the pat where the pattern came from all right oh that's soft too mm, it smells good okay nikki it smells so good look at this that's pretty let me get it right set up it's so soft in lightweight I'm always like, let me get it right side up. And I always do the wrong side. That is beautiful. Nikki, look at that, guys. Look at all them spring colors. That is so pretty. I like that. That is so soft. I like that. That is beautiful. Very nice job. Oh, two nice pretty blankets. Here's the border on that. Very nice. It's snuggly. I like that. Thank you very much, Nikki. That is beautiful. You did an excellent job. Um, I appreciate the time that you spent on that. Your donation, the money you spent for the pattern, the yarn, the shipping. And it, it's all for the love of animals, which will bring in several hundred dollars. Your blanket will. Thank you very, very much. And of course, you know, the animals thank you as well. 
Awesome. Thank you. That is, I can't get over how soft that is. It smells so good. All right, all right. Yeah, a few more and I'll be gone out of your way. Okay. Um, okay, no name. On here. Let's just open it up and see what we got. Oh, it's like Christmas. I go, it's like Christmas. Look. And it's Christmas paper wrapped backwards. It's like Christmas. Okay. Goodness, it's like a blanket. Okay, I don't want to cut it. Ooh, it's a colorful blanket, I see that. And it looks like it's made with mandala that. That would be my guess, but you know, I could be wrong. All right, so this has no tag and no name on it, and the box had no name. I have no idea who made it, but let's take a little gander at it, shall we? It's beautiful and bright. Now, if I had to guess, I would say that is a mandala yarn, and it looks like it is the Granny 8 Point Star. Um, I have a pattern for this on my channel. Um, other people, it's a very common pattern. It might have pom-poms though. This one does not. So it is the granny, I think it's an eight point, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. That's beautiful. Look how bright and pretty that is. Well, I don't know who sent this. Um, if you forgot the card or you want it, want to be recognized and you're watching this video please put your name in the comments so we know but then again some people do like to remain anonymous so whoever you are it's gorgeous and um let me know on that yarn as well like i said my guess would be mandala but i could be wrong um if if let me look at the back real quick. It is, I don't know, really. I would say I, yes. Yeah, it looks like it could be. I was gonna say that yeah, it looked color control, but, or it, like it was a some type of gradient, but there you could see the break in color, so. It's probably a mandala yarn, but who knows? I could be wrong. I'm wrong quite a bit. Anyways, I can tell it is a three weight, and it's a very, very pretty, very nice, very bright, very soft. And I thank you for your time, and it will bring in a very nice amount for the animal shelter. Thank you very much. Yeah, there's no. Oh, there is a letter. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. Okay, says hello, Crystal. My name is, uh, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Marina, is that right? It's okay to say my name. And cr Crochet Creations NYC. I just found you on YouTube in 2019 and started to follow. I learned a lot from you. Thank you very much for this blanket. I use Lion Brand. Mandala and the color and the color gnome from top points to bottom 68 inches. Thank you very much. I think it says is it Marina? Maria Marina. I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right. It's written in cursive and I, I have a hard time reading people uh not not that your cursive is bad, I just have a hard time reading cursive in general. So thank you. That's very nice. Thank you. It's beautiful. Thank you very much. I'm going to put that in the middle so I don't lose that. Okay. I have three more here. Three more. Bag all day. Blankets. 
for the animal auction. There's still time. We'll do by the 30th. This is coming from Canada. Canada. You know what I think this is? I knew it. I knew it. I knew this is what this was. I knew it. Anyway. Thank you so much. Do you remember the, uh, <laughs> I, do you remember the, uh, Red Heart Itty Bitty stripes? And I wanted it in that crown box color so bad. And I found two balls out on Etsy because of, you know. Here it is. Now. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, this is from Debbie. Now, Debbie actually messaged me and asked me if she could send me these. And I told her only if I could pay her for them. Um, and, you know, sometimes you could tell that someone is just not going to let you do that. You know what I mean? No matter how much I would have insisted and insisted. I could tell that she was, she was not going to let me do that. So, you know, she sent these to me. Thank you very much, Debbie. I mean, you're putting a big smile on my face because I wanted that. You're so bad. Crystal, it says, I'm so happy. It means a lot to me to help you out. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Maybe you'll let us know when you complete your project with the Sharn. All the best, Debbie. Debbie, I will definitely let you know. It says, here's a keychain for your collection. All right. I collect keychains. Oh, Thank you very much, Dabby. Looky. That go cute. Thank you. I'll put that in my keychain drawer. Thank you very much. But like I said, it is not... I... I... Debbie asked. She asked. And, you know, like I said, I could tell she wasn't going to let me pay her for them so you know but i always do prefer like i said you donate to your local animal shelter i'm not good at happy meal look at me i feel weird even though i knew this was <laughs> coming i still feel weird about it thank you very much debbie and i will i will show what i make i'm super excited about it thank you so much that's very kind very very kind of you to to send that to me thank you and the keychain i love that as well all right, two more here, which I can tell are not, uh, they're not, uh, Happy Mail. Or they're, they looks like they're Happy Mail or something. Okay, since my video is so long already, I have two packages left here, which I'm going to save for another day because I can tell what's in here. These are crochet hooks. And if you do not know, Bego Day is a massive massive crochet hook collector i collect old hooks are my favorites but i collect them all old new um handmade um any type of hook crochet hook i collect and i have a huge huge collection of every brand that you can think of but my favorites to collect i do have favorites are jim hero and boy um the old ones well, they don't make Jim and Hero anymore, but um, but I like, I love them all. And I'm going to do these on, a, on another video, since I, I can tell that they're hooks. Um, and I don't want to make my video so long, because when I look at hooks, I like to tell you about the history of them. It's fun to learn about the history, right? I know, I know my fair share about the vintage hooks, so... I'm super excited to see those, but that will be for another video. For the so whoever sent those, thank you. I'll open them on um, my next video like this for the purpose of keeping this not so long. All right, but you don't have to send me. I don't want things like I don't want Happy Mail or anything. I don't. I do love crochet hooks. It's it's exciting to hear the clank in there because I know that's what it is. Um, this one actually was damaged in shipment, 
and I can see that's what it is, but I want to look inside. There's a tag on it that says that it was opened and during the shipment process, but I won't look at them until I did a video because I like this. I like the surprise. Um, but th yeah, thank you everybody for the Afghans. They're all beautiful. Uh, thank you for your time on the donation of them. They're going to do well at the animal auction. And I'm sorry if I talked your leg off again. And you'll see these sorts perhaps on my next video that I do talking about. Uh, next time I go to the post office and get blankets. All right. Bye, guys.